Carmel woman today who tells me that when Metronet came through her neighborhood to lay down cable, they cut a line that powered her outdoor lighting. And she tells me it took the company months to get it fixed. Metronet came in our neighborhood. The cable company laid down new fiber optic cable. Unfortunately, they, you know, cut some electrical lines to our lights, outdoor lights. Teresa Hurley wasn't about to pay for the fix herself, so she started making calls to Metronet. We had called them, you know, over a period of four months to come out and try to get it fixed. The damage to various existing lines by Metronet is not an uncommon problem. Hurley is neighbors with Carmel City Councilman Bruce Kimball. Metronet cut an irrigation line at his house. They were notified, they came back quickly and repaired it. The big concern, though, isn't really about lights or irrigation lines. You need to reevaluate how they're doing business because cutting gas lines, um, that's public safety. We need to control that. The city is unable to deny a private utility company the right to operate in a public right of way. Public safety is the one issue where, where we're able to step in and, and do something. A Metronet spokesman said the company is disappointed about the decision and that Metronet will work to regain the city's confidence to continue installing cable lines. Your customer service, you know, it took forever. Even if the company is able to eventually finish its project, Hurley probably won't be a customer. It's not something that I would be interested in with them right now, just because of my own experience. Metronet is still under investigation by the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission for the gas lines it cut. That investigation is expected to be completed in the next few weeks. No more digs will be allowed by Metronet in Fishers until that investigation is over. The city of Carmel wants the IURC to investigate the issues in Carmel as well. The city is also seeking damages from Metronet to pay for the cost of emergency responders to those 14 gas leaks the company caused. We're still waiting to hear back from city officials to find out exactly what the dollar amount is. Reporting from Carmel, Graham Hunter, RTV6.